So we're gearing up here to do a, a little a pan fishing here at Briarwood Sporting Club. And this lake is known for um, for giant hybrid bluegill and plenty of other bluegill panfish. And there's some really big fish here. And as you all know, I love catching panfish on a fly rod. So uh, of course I've got my my subsurface panfish box, which I'm really proud of. And a bunch of different bugs. Some of them I bought. A bunch of them I've tied. This is one of my signature bluegill bugs right there. And then a bunch of jig style woolly worms, which work great on like a, a popper dropper type situation. Variety of different colors. A couple of other bluegill bugs, which I've come up with over the years. And then some of the ones that we sell, like the crappie specials. Um, and of course, a good old woolly bugger. Certainly catches fish. We caught a couple nice bluegill yesterday on that woolly bugger. And uh, then my surface bugs. Of course, a variety of different bugs from uh, little rubber spiders, uh, boogle poppers. I got double barrel poppers. Um, these little micro bluegill bugs for catching the smaller fish. Little chubbies and terrestrial type things, Maldamax, some basic beetles. Just a variety of different surface bugs. I've been catching some fish on these boobies um, from time to time. So, and, and I love these little boxes. They're just perfect. Uh, they work well for this type of stuff, panfish surface and some sur subsurface. So uh, let's go. Let's catch some bluegill. Seriously. Well, switching over to, uh, it seems that the, the smaller fish are geared towards the surface. Uh, bigger fish seem to be laying a little deeper according to the depth finder and that's what Ryan's figuring out. And so he's got a different rig. So I switched to that little micro popper that we sell at the shop. And uh, when some of the other stuff is a little too big, uh, but these are a lot of fun, man. You're catching fish. You're practicing, you're having fun, you're having an enjoyable day. Nothing better. And you can just throw them back in the water like that, you know? And just plop them in and they're fine. Double, 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 Ryan's got a good one. See what you got, Brown. Oh, nice point. That's a pancake. Whoops, sir. Well, this is a decent fish. This is a good fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. Oh, just missed one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shh, nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Better. You know, I could do this. I could do this all day, every day, for at least two days.
So Ryan, of course, catching panfish, bluegill on the surface is a lot of fun, but sometimes it's not overly effective. I mean, I've certainly had periods of time out here where it was tough getting them on the surface. So you're using a rig uh, that we've kind of adapted for warm water fisheries um, that I first learned about out west, yep. really from Cali Gallup and others out there. But explain this rig to us, if you would. Yeah, so basically it's a cross between like a nymphing rig for lakes for trout yep. and a crappie rig that maybe a conventional guy would use. Uh -huh. So suspended over deep water, we got fish sitting there. They're not on the bottom, but they're right in the middle of the water. So we need to use like a big long leader, something like this Rio Indicator leader is a great choice. A lot of still water fishermen use this. It's got a long tip at section, so it's gonna sink real fast. And compare that with one of these slip floats, these teardrop slip floats, and you can peg it, you slide, it, slide your leader through this, and then you pull out that peg and put a little loop of line so it's stuck there. So when you hook a fish, tightens up and it can slide down we're not fishing 20 some foot of water right now right. we're fishing eight foot down so it's not that big a deal i can just leave it fixed but having a float that's easily adjustable mm -hmm. is the way to go and i'm just using the good old shadow x x from echo uh-huh uh it's my favorite the 10 foot three weight also like the 10 foot uh the 11 foot three weight also um and i even got my euro nymphy line on there so it's kind of that euro nymphy rig but I'm just using a slip float, split shot, and a couple nymphs. Bluegill kind of ate the squirminator jig tail off of that. But just a jig, simple jig nymph on the bottom. Got a soft tackle. Good old, you know, I'm a sucker for soft tackles just like you. Yeah. But good old soft tackle up top. Just a little bit bigger than what I would probably use for trout. Uh, and then just rigging that. And so just kind of casting out. And you've got a couple split shot. A couple there. split shot and this four millimeter bead too on here. And it's a good balance. I want that float to tip up. So when I shake the rod, it doesn't slide it forward. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. So if it's too light, I'll shake it and it just move around. And then if I fish hits, it'll just pull it around. It won't pull it under. So balancing out the float. So it's a little bit of mix of conventional understanding of float fishing, but big time on the trout side. So you're not even using a weight forward fly line and you're just, you're really not even casting. You're just lobbing it out. Water loading, yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. lobbing it out behind the boat. And then you're bobber fishing, which... You know, nothing wrong with that. You got to adapt your techniques uh, to catch fish, and uh, this is fun. Definitely, it's that's a the goal. Lot of fun. Goal to have fun. And uh, I stuck to fishing on the surface. Caught a couple of nice fish. Ryan was destroying them, and bigger fish because the bigger fish are laying down deeper. So, uh, adjust your techniques. These slip bobbers, of course, available at MadRiverOutfitters.com. There's also a video that we did with Kelly Gallup. Uh, out on Hebgen Lake. Uh, it's probably laked right here. If, it's, if you can't see it right there, it's down there in the description. Um, and you can watch that too and get an idea on how Kelly rigged up this for fishing trout and lakes out there. But it's just, and it's a, a similar rig that you use for crappie. Very similar, same exact rig, same exact rod even. Yeah, yeah. so really cool.